Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Iggy Koopa from Super Mario. Let's get started in the center of our page with the nose bridge. So we're going to start on the left side. We're going to draw a curve going up and then down on the right side. Now on the inside we're going to draw two curves like an upside down U shape for the nostril. Starting on the left we'll go up and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move down and draw on the top edge of the mouth. So we move all the way over to the left side, draw a curve coming down the middle and then back up on the right. Now we're going to add two sets of fangs on either side. Starting on the left, we're going to step in from the end, draw an angle line coming down and out. Now we're just going to pull that back in. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting up here, we're going to angle down and out and then we'll pull that back in. Let's draw two smaller fangs on the inside. Starting from here, we're going to come straight down. And then we'll angle up underneath the mouth. From the inside edge of the teeth, we're going to curve down towards the bottom of the mouth. And then back up on the right. Now we're going to add the tongue. Going back to the left side, we're going to curve up. And then down on the right. We'll fill that upper area in black. Now let's move back up and draw on the cheeks. We're going to start on the left side. We're going to curve around the corner of the mouth and then in behind the tooth. So go up, round up the cheek, pull that in behind the tooth. Now we're just going to pull that in just a little bit further on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up, rounding up the cheek, pulling that in, and then we'll continue along the inside. Now let's connect these two points with the curve for the lower part of the chin. Coming down underneath the mouth, and then back up on the right side. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the eyes. Starting from the center, just above the bridge of the nose, we're going to draw a half oval, curving up, rounding up the eye, and then coming down on top of the cheek on the left. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Going up to the top of the eye, and down on top of the cheek. Now we want to thicken up the edge of the eye. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to step out, just leave an even space gap all the way around and then in towards the center and then we'll work our way around the right side. Let's fill that area in black. Now let's move to the inside and draw two small ovals for the pupil. Starting on the left, draw a small oval. And then we'll line this up on the right side. We'll fill the pupils in black. Now we want to surround the pupil with a larger oval. Starting from the inside, curve around the pupil, and then back in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we want to add a ring. So we're going to step up and just trace that along the outside. Let's continue going up with the hair. So on the top of the left eye, start by going up, curving around, and then hooking that down. We're going to take that and flip it over on the right. Stepping over, curve up, rounding up the top, and then coming down. Now I'm trying to draw a small hook going up and in. Up, and then just pull that across. Go back to the left side. We're going to curve this up and then down along the side. Now I'm going to pull this all the way up and then just pull that in toward the center, leaving a gap. Start on the left, we'll go up, and then we'll just hook that down to right about there. Do the same thing on the right, going up and then in. Now we're going to layer the back of the hair in behind. So we're going to step out, curve out on both sides. Now we're going to pull this up and then down towards the center. Go up and then 
and down. Now let's move down and draw on the body. We're gonna start with the center patch of the body first. Starting on the left, we're gonna draw a long oval, curving around the side, down towards the bottom. We'll round this out, and then pull that back up on the right. We're gonna add three curves along the belly. Starting from the left, come down, then up. I'm gonna step down, about halfway down, curve down and up again. We're gonna do that one more time. Now we move out and draw on the side of the body. From this curve, we're gonna step out, out, just follow the same curve of the body, and just pull that in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw on the legs. From the bottom of this line, I'm gonna step up, curve out the leg, round up the knee, and we'll just hook that back in. We'll do the same thing on the right, going out, and then back in. Now in the center of the body, we're gonna step down and draw a curve. From left to right, going up, and then down. We're gonna add in the inside edge of the leg. From the end of the line, I'm gonna step in, curve in and down towards the heel, and do the same thing on the right. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel on the left, we're gonna curve down, and then across. We're gonna add the first claw. We're gonna curve up, and then hook that back down towards the bottom of the foot. We're gonna add two more claws on either side. From the tip, we're gonna step up, draw a short line going across, curve up, and we'll tuck that in behind the front claw. Let's do that one more time. Tuck that in behind. Now at the top of the last claw, curve up and in behind the leg, leaving a little overlap. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with the bottom of the foot. Now we're gonna draw the first claw, going up and then down. From the tip, we're gonna step up, draw a short line going out, curve up and then tuck that in behind. We'll do that one more time. Now from the top of the claw, we're gonna curve up and then in behind the leg. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. The arms on the left we're gonna have sticking out, holding the wand. So we're gonna start just on the left side of the chin, curve down and up towards the wrist. Now we're gonna curl around the thumb. From this line, we're gonna go up, curl around the thumb, and then just hook that back in. Now we're gonna hook that back up, going up and in. Let's separate out the claw. Just draw a short curve from left to right. Now we're gonna stack three fingers in behind the thumb. Starting on the outside, we're gonna draw a sideways oval, going out and then back in. Now at the bottom of this finger, we're gonna go out again and then in behind the thumb. We'll do that one more time. Going out, rounding out the finger, and then up. Now we're gonna tuck the handle of the wand in behind the fingers. Starting from the top, we're gonna draw two straight lines, side by side. Now we're gonna continue those two lines just below the bottom finger. Close off the bottom with a curve. Now let's go back to the top. We're gonna close off the end with another curve. Now from the top corners, we're gonna go out and up on both sides. Then again, we're gonna close this off with a curve. Let's do that one more time. From the end, we're gonna curve out and up. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll close this off again with another curve. Let's round out the ends. Starting on the left, we're gonna draw almost like a C shape, going the opposite direction on the inside, and then again, closing the top with a curve. Now we're gonna draw on the top dome of the wand. Starting on the left, we're gonna draw a half circle, going up and then down. Now let's draw on the bottom of the arm. Starting just underneath this finger, we're gonna step down underneath the handle, curve across and up towards the top of the wrist. Now we're over on the inside, we're gonna curve down and then in behind the body. Let's add the edge of the bracelet. From the wrist, we're gonna step in, curve in and then out. Now we're gonna add three spikes. In the center, we're gonna add a circle. Now along the bottom, we're gonna draw almost like a V shape, coming down and up. We'll go in the opposite direction along the top. Now let's move over to the right side. We're gonna draw this arm hanging down. So just along the side of the body, curve out and down towards the thumb. We're gonna round out the thumb with a half circle. At the end of the thumb, draw a small bracket. 
And at the bottom curve of the thumb, we're gonna come down and up around that bracket for the first finger. We'll step down, curve down and up the second finger. Now the third finger, we're gonna go around, up the arm. Now we're gonna pull this in behind the chin on the right side. Going up and then in. Let's add the bracelet. From the inside of the wrist, we'll curve down and up. Step up, draw that same curve. Now in the center, we're gonna draw a small circle. And then we'll add two spikes on either side. On the inside, we're gonna angle in and back down. On the outside, we'll go in the opposite direction. Now the last thing we do is add the edge of the shell in behind the body. So on the left side, we're gonna step out underneath the arm just follow the same curve of the body, going around, in behind the leg. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now this is gonna come up above the shoulder. So on top of the left arm, we curve in behind the head. Do the same thing on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Iggy Koopa from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.